To understand how this technique works, first we have to understand how the subconscious mind works. The subconscious mind is impersonal and is not selective. Most importantly, it doesn't understand negation or the word not, and it doesn't understand the context of the sentences and the programming that we send to it. I want you to try an experiment real quick with me. Think or say to yourself, I am not thinking of a pink elephant. Now what popped into your mind almost immediately? And this is how the subconscious mind works with how we talk to it and how we program it. You ever notice how the things you really don't want to happen a lot of times will come true? You don't want to talk to that person and yet here they are. <laughs> you just can't take another unexpected bill and then you check the mail and there it is. You don't want to get sick after eating that gas station sushi, but what happens? Now, let's say you're worried about getting a flat tire because you know it's been leaking air and I've been putting air every couple of days and you start to get fixated on, I don't want a flat tire, I don't want a flat tire. But then right on the way to work, boom, the tire goes flat, but we didn't want it. You didn't want it. Well, that's because the subconscious mind does not understand not or don't want. It only hears the subject matter, flat tire, and it feels the negative emotion and feelings you have about the flat tire, and that acts as fuel for that manifestation. Remember, the feeling is the secret. That's why when we worry about things, a lot of times it becomes this sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because we're busy visualizing and thinking about the unwanted event, we're busy feeling all these heavy emotions. This is also the power and the key of the knot technique. And I'm gonna dig into some specific practical steps in working with this technique in just a moment. Another aspect of this technique is this. Saying that you want something implies lack, that you don't have it. Because again, if you already had the thing, you wouldn't be busy asking for it. So the universe gives you lack in response. It doesn't give you that which you want. But when we tell the universe or the subconscious mind that we don't want something, that is pure detachment. So now the opposite effect is happening. You are telling the universe or the subconscious that you don't want it. And that complete lack of needing and desiring energy allows the manifestation to come in. It helps us to consciously be more detached to what we want to manifest when we speak in negations. And one more trick to this technique before we get into how to apply it and work with it. By saying not, or the negative of the manifestation, you are also bypassing your conscious, rational mind's filters and resistance to it. Think about this for a minute with me. If you have a scarcity or a poverty mindset and beliefs like that around money, and you say to yourself and you try to manifest, I have a million dollars and you're visualizing, your conscious mind is going to reject that statement before it even gets to the subconscious because that is out of the question for your current beliefs about yourself and about your reality. Your mind doesn't really believe, your conscious mind, that this can happen for you. So it never bothers to pass the message along to the subconscious mind. Your perception filter cuts it right off in the beginning. Now, we can use the knot technique to Trojan horse our conscious mind and get the manifestation to the subconscious. Here is how you can use the knot technique to manifest what you want. I like writing along with visualizing for my manifesting techniques. So in the morning, afternoon, and evening, you can write down three to five times, I don't want money or I don't want love. Then visualize a scene of the wish fulfilled. You could visualize yourself turning down money, throwing it in the trash, just completely disinterested and disregarding it. And if that negative perspective seems too strong for you to use, you can add in, I don't want money because I already have so much of it. I don't want love because I have the perfect lover already. That way you can increase the detachment factor even more. Not only do you not want it, but you already have so much of it. So we're doubling down on that letting go and that detachment. And you can combine this with Neville's sats or state akin to sleep. As you're laying in bed, 
and you're in that half asleep, almost asleep place, again, do the visualization that, co that correlates to, I don't want money because I have so much of it. It's no big deal to me. I'm throwing the trash, I'll leave it on the floor. And let yourself fall asleep with that visualization playing in your mind and feeling the emotion of detachment in your body. It could be as fast as 30 seconds to two minutes. It doesn't take very long when you're in that half asleep state. So by doing this, you are cementing your vibration and energy into pure detachment, which then allows the universe to bring things to you. Now, detachment is just one of the ways that you could be blocking your manifestation from coming in. Check out this video here where I cover the six most common mistakes that people make when manifesting so that you can get what you want in your life. Thank you for being here. I hope you choose to make it a great day. Much peace and love to you, my friend.